So you may be wondering, what is the pineal gland? What does decalcify mean? And why does that even fucking matter, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna break that all down to you. What's up? How you doing? How you feeling? It's your girl Emmy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Emmy Experience where we talk about everything and anything under the sun. Um, today's video is going to be on how to decalcify, how to decalcify your pineal gland. And before I go any further, I want to make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you hit that like button because that really helps me out a lot and it helps me reach more people. I would really appreciate it. So let's get started. The pineal gland produces melatonin, so it helps us regulate our sleep and our hormones, and it affects our thinking process and it affects our per perception. So that's more of a like westernized view on the pineal gland, but when you look at it from a Eastern perspective, especially ancient Egyptian and like a Hindu in the Hindu tradition, the pineal gland is referred to as the third eye. So I'm sure you guys have all heard of the term third eye and it's usually associated with this area and um it's because the gland is directly like in that area like through the brain which so when people are referring to the third eye they're referring to your pineal gland so the reason why it has the name third eye is because it connects us to spiritual consciousness intuition insight it's the third eye to the other realm it's the doorway to the other realm and to the ancient egyptians it was referred to as the eye of horus i can insert a picture of the eye of horus versus the pineal gland so you can see the similarities in the image from a spiritual standpoint which the hindus and the ancient egyptians understood was that the pineal gland helps us it helps us be in tune with nature and having a like mind-body balance. Like the pineal gland creates that mind-body balance. It creates our ability to be in tune with nature. It's that third eye chakra energy connecting and understanding with your higher self, your intuition, and of course, dimensions that are beyond our own and spiritual consciousness and being able to connect to a source. So having a blocked pineal gland would make that a lot more difficult to do or for some people depending on how calcified it is just unable to do decalcifying what does that mean you ask well let me tell you so when it's decalcified it's like decaying well it's not really decaying but it's calcified it's there's too much calcium being produced um that crystallizes around the pineal gland and on the pineal gland it's um false phosphate crystals so when you consume things that create phosphate crystals these phosphate crystals build around and on the pineal gland for example fluoride for in your toothpaste and the fluoride in the water that you drink if you drink tap water that would create a crystals these phosphate crystals to build on and around your pineal gland so once this happens your pineal gland becomes less effective your ability to regulate your own hormones becomes less effective you sleep throughout the night you connect and meditate and trust your own intuition or even hear your own intuition becomes a lot more difficult or having like a harder time to focus thinking clearly and even harder like if you're one to like dream or try to have lucid dreams it'll make it a lot harder for those to, for you to have any of those things when it's too calcified it can lead to having like being just feeling more uncertain feeling more confused insomnia uh, fatigue depression disconnected spiritually or even disconnected from the world around you the pineal gland it's the place that which all your thoughts are formed it's where your thoughts become manifestations that can eventually become your reality right so when that's blocked your ability to manifest is inhibited as well so I know I already mentioned like fluoride, fluoride that's in the water, especially if you have like old pipes. So the chemicals, not just fluoride, all the chemicals that are in the pipes that they use, um, that is going to reduce the quality of your water. Toothpaste, so the fluoride in your toothpaste, that's also very bad for your brain. Pesticides and the herbicides that are in our food, all those chemicals that can be found from the vegetables to the fruit to the meat. So what calcifies your pineal gland, right? So you may be wondering, so I know I kind of touched on fluoride in your water. The toothpaste, the pesticides and the herbicides that are in our fruits and foods and vegetables, um, meats, 
So those are all the chemicals that are found in them and the hormones that are added into them. Those are all because they're genetically modified. Those are disrupting our body's natural um, rhythm. And then it's also increasing the, the, phos the phosphate crystals in our brain. Um, calcium, consuming excess, excessive calcium. So um, having a lot of milk or dairy products will also um, calcify your pineal gland mercury, the mercury that's found in the fish that we eat. That will decalcify your pineal gland and other toxins like artificial sweeteners, um, air fresheners, deodorants even. Basically anything that isn't natural and basically anything that isn't natural that we're putting into our body, especially food. Food is the number one killer. These these people that are in control of what we eat, they know exactly what they're doing. They know that what we're consuming is making us sick, but they also know that it's keeping us dumb. It's keeping us disconnected, especially as people of color. We have an ability to connect with Earth. You see it in our cultures, right? Whether it's Latin America, Asian cultures, or African cultures, we have this respect and we have this understanding of the Earth and of Mother Nature. So when we, because we have this ability to be in tune and listen to it, so when we're constantly consuming these foods, that dumb us down in a sense. And also these foods that are lower quality food exist in communities of color. And lower quality foods, fruits, vegetables, having living in a community that's food desert, so you're you're forced to eat more from liquor stores or even like alcohol and tobacco, um, sugar, those like excess sugar, those are all things that also decalcify our pineal gland. So they're doing these things on purpose because then you go to these more affluent communities that you know white right don't have these same problems and have access to these healthier foods they know exactly what they're doing and they know that food is a way to keep us dumb food is a way to keep us in our same spot to keep us stagnant and to keep us continuing to go lower and lower because if you look at it now especially in communities of color the obesity and high blood pressure for children is continuing to increase because we're eating more and more of these foods we're we're going in the opposite direction people of color are being more and more disconnected from real food when i say real foods i'm also saying it's disconnecting us from mother earth and it's also disconnecting us our birthright as people of color and like being able to connect with the earth if that makes sense sorry y'all there's a cloud that just came in so just bear with me with the lighting basically like i was saying having a calcified pineal gland disrupts our ability to grow spiritually and then also connect to the earth because connecting to the earth is also something that helps you grow spiritually understanding like the relationship with life around us and like our own bodies as well because that's also being disrupted because the pineal gland also controls our hormones and we're, we're also being it's just disrupting us internally and our ability to connect externally right not only is it the seat of the soul but it's also the doorway to anything that's like psychic related or um, lucid dreaming clairvoyance um astral projection telepathy it it disrupts all of those things so but i'm just gonna go over some some ways to decalcify your pineal gland i already kind of touched base on it but filtering your water is definitely important not drinking tap water whether you want to get one of those filters like for your faucet in your in your um, kitchen or getting like a Brita. Yeah, filtering your water to help get rid of the presence of chlorine, um, arsenic, pesticides, herbicides, hormones, fluoride, parasites, and all the heavy metals like lead and mercury. These are all things that are in your tap water. Also fluoride-free toothpaste. There's so many brands now. I'm a big fan of Tom's. They also have like fluoride-free um, mouthwashes and I just like that brand, um, but there's other ones. Lowering your sugar intake, your caffeine intake, tobacco and alcohol, um, all of those things drain the body of energy, which allows toxins to build up in your system. So the more toxins build up, the unhealthier you are in the inside, the more calcification that will happen in the brain. Some things that you can add to help purify your system would be to consume more spirulina, chlorella, wheatgrass, or more heavy greens like kale, broccoli, cacao. In your diet, um, I like to put those things in my smoothie when I have them. Uh, or you can get like those powders where it's like spirulina, wheatgrass, chlorella, and like other stuff all together. So that way it's like you don't have to buy so many different ones. Just like, oh, one for one, because who wants all that stuff everywhere, right? 
And I'm going to say a vegetarian vegan diet is definitely going to be the best thing to keep your, your brain decalcified. But I also would recommend if you don't, I mean, I can't make you go vegan, I can't make you go vegetarian, but eating organic meats will definitely help. That's the problem though, sometimes when they say it's organic, it's not actually organic. So do as you will, because there's always going to be hormones added to your, your meats. So there's that. Eating more raw foods. Also consuming more garlic, apple cider vinegar, both very good for cleansing your insides and like detoxing, including the buildup of calcium inside your body. So like citric, a citric acid, so consuming more lemon or lime. Like I like to start my day with um, some lime and water or some warm water and that will definitely help cleanse the toxins out of your body you don't even need to do a whole one you can do half or however you want it but starting your day with that will help like kick your kick start your digestive system and help clean you out for the day so um yes those are my recommendations to help decalcify your insides and um your pineal gland i hope you found this information helpful i hope uh, you're able to connect and be grounded please hit the thumbs up button. Oh my God, I didn't even say that. Thumbs up and subscribe because that would really help me out. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day and stay healthy out there. Yes. <laughs>